Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on location of instantaneous center for given mechanism. Now if we observe the diagram, here some distance is given. So we have to plot first fixed centers that is center O1, O2 and O3 as per the given scale. Now here the dimensions of the links is also given. Now these dimensions are in millimeter so we have to take some suitable scale. So we will take here scale 100 millimeter is equal to 2 centimeter. You can also take scale 100 millimeter is equal to 4 centimeter that will depend on the size of the drawing book. Now we can plot here the point A with angle 60 degree and O1 A distance that is 100 millimeter is given. Now how to plot the point C for that we have to take distance in the compass now AC 700 millimeter is given so we have to take 14 centimeter distance in the compass and we will take A as a center and mark one arc and then we will take here O3 as a center and here distance O3C is given 200 millimeter so we will take 4 centimeter distance and we will mark one arc. So point of intersection will give us the point C. Then we will join this AC and O3C. Now in the same way BC distance 200 millimeter is given. So at a distance of 4 centimeter from this point C we have to point mark we have to mark point B. Then how to select the point D? So for that distance BD is given 150 millimeter. So from this scale we have to take here B as a center and mark one R. In the same way we have to take O2 as a center and O2D distance is 200 millimeter is given and we have to mark one arc. So point of intersection will give us the point D and then we have to join the points. And now the angle that is DO2E is 90 degree. So in this way we have to complete the diagram. So here is the diagram with some suitable scale. Now we have to first give the numbers of the links. So remember that here there are total fixed points O1, O2 and O3. There are three numbers of fixed points. So for these fixed points we will give here the number 1. So we are going to give the num number to the links with the help of red marker. So here I will give the number 1 for this three fixed points then this O1 is getting attached to this point A so I will give here the number 2 then this AC is number 3 then CD is number 4 now remember that this is the whole link that is AC is whole link and there is no any relative motion in this part AB and BC so here we have to give this number 3 then here is number 4 then this D is connected to this point B on this link AC so here I will give number 5 and this is the bell crank lever that is this whole 90 degree angle is the bell crank lever and this is the center line so I will give here for this whole bell crank lever as a number 6 that means we can say that here the total number of links are 6 now how to find out the instantaneous centers that is how many instantaneous centers in this mechanism. So we have formula that is n in the bracket n minus 1 by 2. So here n is the number of links that is 6 in the bracket 6 minus 1 by 2. So we can say that here total number of instantaneous centers that is 15. So how to locate or what is the exact number for this instantaneous center so for that we have to plot one table so here links so here total number of links are six so one two three four five six so we have to take here in links column that is how many number of links are there and in this instantaneous center we have to join each number with other links so here we will connect 1 with 2 that is instantaneous center I12 is there. So I will write here 1, 2, then 1, 3, then 1, 4, 
then 1 5 and 1 6 now in the same way 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 then 3 4 3 5 3 6 then 4 5 4 6 and here is 5 6 now we cannot move to the back side that is 6 is connected to 1 because the link in between 6 and 1 that is 1 6 is already present so we have to move in the forward direction only now by the observation we can plot here fixed and permanent instantaneous centers so how to plot so for that i will give here some suitable numbers that is i1 2 i2 3 so we will mark important points so i will move for the first that is this fixed point o1 is connected to link 2 at this point o1 so i will write here i12 then here this link 2 is connected to link 3 at this point a so i will say here i23 then here 3 is connected to 4 that is i34 and then 4 is connected to 1 that is i14 so remember that we have to take the smaller number first because here we have mentioned all the instantaneous center with smaller number first and this is to avoid the confusion then if we observe here this link 5 and he, this is the whole link 6 is there so we can say that here is the point of intersection so i will say that here i 5 6 is there so this point d is i 5 6 now here O2 is connected to this link 6. So I will say here I16 is there. So for this point O2 I will write I16. So these are the instantaneous centers that are get, getting f located. Now these are fixed and permanent instantaneous centers. Now we have to find out or we have to locate the neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous center so for that we will apply the kennedy's method and here inside this circle we have to draw number of lines equal to number of links so from this instantaneous center we will join the number lines so first i will take here the six numbers representing the six number of links so here if i take number 1 then here 1 2 is present so I will join 1 to 2 then here 2 3 is present so I will join here 2 to 3 then here 3 to 4 is present so I will join here 3 to 4 then if we observe here this 4 and 5 there is no any connection in between link 4 and link 5 so here we have to take the next point as a 5 but we should not connect this 4 to the 5 so here i will take here next point is 5 then if we observe here is the instantaneous center 1 to 4 that is 4 is connected to fixed point 1 so I will join this 1 and 4 so this is important step because we have to observe this connection of links and then only we have to draw this diagram and then we will take here connection in between 5 and 6 so here is the connection in between link 5 and link 6 so I will join here and here the connection is 1 that is his fixed point is connected to link 6 that is we have to join here 1 and 6. So if we observe here is the diagram. Now uh, here this link 3 is connected to link 5 because at this point B. So here we have to mention that i3 5 then we have to join here in this diagram also 
so this is important because we have to observe all the connections and then i will join here 3 and 5 so here is the diagram that is the it is getting completed and this is the kennedy's method now how to apply this Kennedy's method to find out the neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous center that is we have to join two points such a way that there is the formation of opposite triangles so if we observe this here if we join this 1 3 then what is happening so here 1 2 3 is one triangle and here 1 3 4 is the second triangle now remember that this line 1 3 is common in both the triangles so our new instantaneous center will be i 1 3 so i will join here So we have to join this with the help of the dash lines. Now how to find out this instantaneous center. So for that we will take one triangle that is 1, 2, 3. So here instantaneous center I12 is there and I23 is there. So now we have to project I12 and I23 instantaneous center. So here is I12 and here is I23. So now I will project this. Now next is 1, 4 and 4, 3. So here I 1, 4 is there and I 3, 4 is there because we have to take the smaller number first. So 1, 4, here is the 1, 4 and here is the 3, 4. So this uh, C O 3 that we have to. Extend. Now this also we have to extend. Now this is the point of intersection. So we will take here this point of intersection as I13. So this is the instantaneous center. Now again if I join 1 and 5. So if I join this triangle 1, 6, 5 and here 4, there is no any connection in between 4 and 5. So we will take here 1, 5, 3. So this will be also the formation of triangle. So now. So if we observe this. 1, 6, 5. 1, 3, 5. Are two opposite triangles are getting formed. So 1, 5 is the common line. So our instantaneous center will be I, 1, 5. So here 1, 6 and 5, 6. So where is 5, 6? So here is the 5, 6. And where is 1, 6? So uh, here is 1, 6. This is the 1, 6. That is the point. And here is the 5, 6. So both are points on one line. So I will project this. So in the form of dash we have to project. Now what is the second triangle? That is i13 and i35 so here is 13 so here is 13 and here is 35 so here is 35 so we have to connect these two points So if we observe here we will get the point of intersection and this point of intersection will give us I15. So in this way we will get here the two instantaneous centers that are neither fixed nor permanent. We have to find out the velocity of this point E on the bell crank lever. So how to find out? So if we observe this point E and point D are the points on the bell crank lever from this fixed center O2. So we have to take the perpendicular distance as a O2E and O2D. So for this we must know what is the velocity at point D. So again how to find out this because this is also not given in the question. So if we observe this point D and this point B 
are at a distance that is here is the common center that is I15. So we have to take the distance that is the common distance I15 to D and I15 to B. So again this velocity at this point B is also unknown. But the velocity at point A that we can calculate from the given data because here the angular velocity is given 100 rad per second and the distance O1A is also given. So this O1A that is 100 millimeter. So we have to take the standard unit that is 0.1 meter. So velocity at point A that is VO1A is equal to omega O1A multiplied by this O1A that is 100 into 0.1 which is equal to 10 meter per second. So if we take here this 10 meter per second that is velocity is known at point A. So if we observe he, he point B and point A is having common center as I13. So we can take here this perpendicular distance that is I13A and I13B. So now we will calculate. So first we will calculate the velocity of this point B. So we will take here the VA divided by this distance I13 to A which is equal to VB divided by this distance I13B. So what is this distance? So VB is equal to, so we have to take VA. So VA is 10 meter per second multiplied by now this denominator term will move to the numerator that is I13B. So this distance is equal to 0.82 meter because this distance is 820 millimeter. So we have to take 0.82 meter and what is the distance that is I13 to A. So this distance is 910 millimeter that is 0.91 meter. So we get VB 9.01 meter per second. Now again we have to take this VB and VD. Now VB divided by I1 phi to B which is equal to VD divided by I1 phi to D. That is this distance. So we have to take the here common center that is from passing through this point D and point D. So from that we can take refer that as a distance. So here VB is known. So we can take here the I1 phi B. So VB multiplied by I1 phi D. So I1 phi to D. So this distance is 50 millimeter. So we will take here 0 0.05 meter. And I1 phi B, this distance is 130 millimeter. So we will take 0 0.13 meter. So if we calculate this, we will get 3.46 meter per second. Now again, this velocity at point D is known. So it is easy for us to calculate at E. Because here is the common center about which this uh, D and this point E is getting rotated. So we will take this perpendicular distance. So VD divided by O2D or we will say I162D because at O2 this center is I16 which is equal to VE divided by I162 E. So here VE that is equal to VD. VD is 3.46. Now what is the distance I162 E? So this distance is 0 0.4 that is 400 millimeter and what is this distance O2D that is 200 millimeter so we can say 0 0.2 so when we calculate this we will get 6.92 meter per second. So this is the answer that is the velocity at point E on the bell crank lever.